So I just wanted to give you guys a little insight on why it's so important for any business, any business to have a website, no matter what industry you're in. Um, your website is like the storefront. It's like your virtual storefront. This is the home of your business. Um, in 2022, especially while we are still in the middle of a pandemic and we see no end to all of the things going on in the world, you definitely want to make sure that you have a presence online as well as offline. Um, when it comes to marketing in general, you want to be well-rounded. Um, but again, the internet is the place to be. This is where you want to reach a much wider audience all across the world. People that you may not have even had the ability to be in contact with if it weren't for the internet. So you want to keep that in mind whenever you're thinking about how big you want your business to become, how much longevity you want your business to have, and basically how successful you want to be in the long run. Um like and it's also it's important for new business owners as well as business owners that are already established to make sure that they're take doing what it takes in order to transfer their operations or some of their operations to be online um like i said a lot of things are changing a lot of people are working remotely a lot of people aren't even planning on leaving their homes often the price of gas is going up so um you know you just have to consider how lucrative it would actually be to have your business um i guess to have your business based in um physicality i don't know if that's the word i would use but you guys know what i mean um it's not as lucrative if you don't do something online operate some kind of way online <coughs> and um additionally like even if you're a bootlegger if you don't know what a bootlegger is that is someone who operates a business but it's not um legitimate yet that's someone who hasn't registered for their you know their business um documentation their their status or their ein and things like that um and it's okay like everybody has to take their steps to get where they are but even with a bootleg even with i guess bootlegging or having a business that's not legitimate yet you want to still have a website you still can grow before you become legitimate yes you can um and then if there's anybody that needs more information on that definitely hit me up i do not mind answering any questions and if i don't know the answer i will always be able to find it so um you know that brings me to my next point one of the many one of the the forms of being able to market your business and um a lot i guess the form of bit i'm sorry i'm getting a little tongue tied one of the forms of marketing your business and something that i see that is very popular amongst people that aren't legitimate yet is using social media um and social media is a great tool for marketing your business however i see a lot of people put too much energy into social media and sometimes they get stuck there um it can be very limiting whenever you whenever you're um depending solely on social media in order to operate your business um this is why having a website can be so helpful because whenever you create your website this is where you're going to be managing your operations obviously you're still going to have other forms some people take care of their accounting through excel or any other platform some people take care of their analytics on google or any other platform but um depending on what platform you use to build your website you may be able to do all of those things in one place saving yourself a lot of time and making things a lot easier on yourself um whenever you use social media there is a point in which there's kind of like a cap on what you're able to achieve there um you want to be able to like basically okay i don't know if you've ever heard someone that maybe mistakenly called social media social medium and i always laugh because to me social media is a medium um it's a medium for being able to contact people it's a medium for be being able to um market However, it's not the end all be all. It's just a medium. You, whenever you're interacting with people online and um, on social media specifically, 
your your goal should always be to get them to go to your website that's the most important thing um like i don't know i don't know that it, it doesn't get more simple than that it's a medium they shouldn't be coming to your profile um to make a sale you know whenever you have your website set up and it's optimized for the best user experience once you take them to your website the goal the next goal for should be for them to or should be for you to make a sale the next step for them should be to make a purchase or to schedule a consultation so um you always want to direct them to your website and then you won't even have to do as much work because your website does all the talking and the selling for you right you don't have to sit in the inbox giving them all these details that are already on the website if you have a dedicated page that you can share with them they'll be able to see everything that they need and then book their consultation or make their purchase from there this is going to save you a lot of energy um so it's super important you guys every industry should have a website um no matter what you're doing um and then let's talk about some of the features that are available on different social media platforms. For example, you have groups. You have, um, of course, posting of videos and photos. Um, and a, and most, most of the most popular social media platforms have the capabilities for you to go live. But you can have all of that. You can do all of that and have all of that on your pro on your I'm sorry on your website as well. Um, you know, those Facebook groups, for example, people have found a lot of success in Facebook groups. But just imagine how much more success you could find if you could funnel all your group members into a forum that you created on your um your website so they can interact with each other and answer each other's questions and even you could answer some of their questions that they post in that forum this does this works wonders for you know any business owner um that i guess like needs to funnel a little bit more traffic to their website um just imagine if they're on your website looking for answers to their question especially if they found your form through Google. Um, once they find what they need in that form, they might become curious and start browsing your, browsing your website and then eventually make a purchase or book a consultation because they see the value in what you offer. Um, and then additionally, like another example of some of the features that you could offer, like um, going live. You can go live on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I think you can go live on Snapchat. No, I don't know. I don't know. But I don't use Snapchat very often, to be honest. But um, as far as going live, you can do that on your website as well. Like, for the past few weeks, I've been going live on my website. And to me, it works well. Once you can get someone to, or a few people to join your live like i said they may become curious and decide to browse the website the goal is to always have traffic coming to your website don't allow people that are interested in what you have to offer to get stuck on your social media profile trust me keep directing people to your website um additionally you can send you can share newsletters um and it actually well, yeah, emailing, email marketing is one of the most popular and one of the most successful ways that people um, contact their customers and clients. So if you have ideas for sending out regular newsletters to your people, you want to do that. That's the equivalent to posting on Facebook and Instagram. You're still getting people's attention. Now, granted, when you're on Facebook and Instagram, you still may have a wider audience, but don't get too focused on them. Remember, if somebody felt it necessary to subscribe to your email list, those are the people that are a little bit more interested in purchasing. Those are the people that you still want to make sure you maintain focus on. Um, 
and then like another thing like once you start building up your email marketing list once you start building up your list of subscribers um that list belongs to you so if you if for whatever reason your facebook group or your facebook page or anything like that were to get shut down because let's be real here sometimes mark be tripping um at least you will have your email list and you could still regularly send emails to your um subscribers so i just want you guys to keep that in mind like i always say it does not matter what industry you're in you want to have a website that is your storefront we're in the age of technology we're in a digital age now trust me some people are fighting really hard to get a storefront before really putting more focus on their um, virtual presence and their digital presence and honestly I'm telling you it may pay more not like literally financially pay more but you know it may um, benefit a business owner more to go ahead and establish their presence online before opening their storefront because that's just the time that we're in but i appreciate you guys for listening and um make sure that you follow us on instagram at ratchet nerd group it's all together ratchet nerd group and um yeah i do have a new series coming up um as you know if you've been following me for a while you'll know that i have been um I have been finishing up on a series about having boundaries in business and um, and basically it's about how to assert boundaries as a business owner in order to maintain solid foundation in your business operations and maintain your mental health while you're trying to run your business. Um, so make sure you check that out. It actually is coming to a close soon. So um but I do have the previous episodes that I've done posted on YouTube. So you can check out my YouTube channel and see what it is that is helpful for you. And um, after the Boundaries and Business session comes to a close, I'm going to be starting a new series where I bring on guests from different industries. And we can talk about tips and different software that would be beneficial for those people in that particular industry so be on the lookout for your industry so that we can see how we can maximize your business operations online and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week